My experience on tour in three words would be fast, precise, shreddy. I have a nice been a party, you know what I mean? Uh, we had a good, good drink in London, good drink in Coventry, the Cars Bar, highly re recommend it by the way. Cracking venue, cracking nightclub. Uh, ah, it's, it's been up and down, you know what I mean? Some, some nights we've just been chilling out and then others have been gone for it. We always have so much fun, you know, London is always, always just a stylish, crazy, weird time. And it was again. Um, but Liverpool really surprised us this time. Uh, we just had fun and just partied with our friends afterwards and it was cool. We, all, we got into a fight there last time and we just got arrested in Liverpool, so it was nice to just have like a friendly time there. We met this family in Nottingham and they took us to uh, to their house, you know, and they were just stocked up with absolutely everything. It was really nice. Like one of them kind of soul-touching kind of moments, you know what I mean, when they, you're at a loose end and they all look after you. That, that was probably the highlight for me because they were a pretty mad family. It felt really hard in uh, Bristol which sucked and I had like a big bruise on my back. It's kind of gone now. But uh, I don't know, just like playing shows, playing new songs, kids are going wild, it's fun. What makes for a good tour, mate? Try no break it and it isn't yours. That's always a good one. Always be polite and courteous, but a common courtesy, you know what I mean? Shake hands, look people in the eye when you're talking to them. I don't want to cuddle or anything, you know what I mean? A willingness to lend you their shit because you've forgotten your own is, is a good one. You know, like, can I have a lead? Can I have a strap? Can I have two straps? Two leads? Can I use your amp? You know, yeses to these questions is, is, is a good is a good tool, mate. From what I've seen and learned so far, but my experience is minimal. On the tour bus, uh, we've been listening to a lot of random stuff, man. We've been keeping it pretty mellow, actually, because uh, we've been kind of getting wasted during the night. So during the day, we've been keeping it really like, peaceful and mellow. It's like like a lot of the zombies and like David Axelrod, and we listen to like Philip Glass all day today, and just like smoke a ton of weed. Nice chill day. The soundtrack, well, because we, we've been doing it in a transit van, this is what I'm talking about, is, is, is kind of like, there's like seven of us in the back and then there's like a little front seat bit. So unless you're in the front seat, you don't get any music. You know what I mean? You're just in the back of a, like, well, there's no windows. You're just kind of on the floor, sitting there, staring at the wall, you know? So you have to really, like, have a potent imagination when you're back there, you know? We went to Stonehenge yesterday and we put Sabbath on while we were approaching Stonehenge. That was probably a musical highlight, you know? But it was shut. Stonehenge was shut. We went to start and they were like, no, you can't go in, it's shut. It's like, it's a rune, isn't it? How can it be shut? We played one gig, I think it was in uh, Edinburgh, where uh, she says before the set, you know, we, we, we hear you have quite the reputation, so uh, we don't want any kids getting hurt tonight. So like, we played and there was like just like 10 bodyguards and shit. And it still got pretty wild, you know, so. I don't know, it's just funny that our reputation could precede us with, you know, something like that. We've also been asked not to puke before shows and shit like that, which is really funny. I think that, I mean, that time that dude was so explicit about it that we actually did it on purpose. So, <laughs> we're those kind of kids. 